keep me in focus. All right, boom, done, boom. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? Okay, so I have shot this video, I've shot this video already, and then I realized that the audio wasn't on, so. Yeah. If you guys didn't notice, by the way, the lighting is different. All right, hey guys, what's up? Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I am excited, I am freaking excited about this video. This video, I'm excited about. Uh, why am I excited about this video? We're gonna, we're gonna be talking about product photography and cheap lighting for product photography. I am personally a huge fan of product photography. I'm gonna clean off the lens as of, as of right now. Maybe I'll enjoy por portraiture or something later, but as of right now, product photography is my jam, especially for low light product photography. I'm really enjoying that. Okay, one of you guys asked me on Instagram, I forget what your name is. You asked me about inexpensive, cheap lighting for product photography. And I just got started getting excited when he told me about it. I was like, dude, I could totally do a video about that. So let's, let's get started. So first, before I say anything about what kind of lights to get, what kind of diffusion you need to get, you gotta know what you're shooting. You gotta know what you're shooting and you gotta know what kind of feel you wanna bring across in that photo. You don't really shoot food the same way that you would shoot tech. So yeah, you gotta know what you're shooting so you can know what kind of feel you wanna go for that. What kind of feel you, you want. Um, so yes. The first number one light source that you can buy, the, the one that will change your life. No, the one that you can just go out right now and get is the sun. Yeah, that massive light source that all of us have access to, right there. Use that sun to take some dope, dope fire photos. In my food photography, I'm not, I, I, I use the sun about 95, 98, 99% of the time. I, or it has to do with the sun. Like if it's late at night and it's a meal that my mom has made and she really wants to eat it, then I'll use my lights, but I, uh, I haven't gotten the same effect that I can with the sun with my lights. So if I can, I'll wait until the next day just to use the sun because the sun just just livens up the photo. Here's one photo that I'm talking about that I lit with my lights. This one is what I lit with both of my lights. And I think it came out okay, but it doesn't didn't, didn't come out great. But this one, this one was lit with the sun. I think just the sun, a reflector, and that's it. And up. Dude, I think it came out amazing. This is one of my favorite photos that I've taken for my mom's channel, is these pancakes. I think it's dope. I'm really excited. I'm really happy about that photo. Um, so that's on a bright, sunny day, not really partially cloudy, just, you know, full sun, that I had diffusion up to the window. But if I did have diffusion, then I usually just put up like a piece of wax paper. Let me see if I can get it, because I have it right here. Right there. So I'll try to, I'll unfold this. And this is just very thin. You guys see that? Yeah, this is very thin uh, wax, not wax paper, tissue paper um, that I just put up to the window and it helps diffuse the harsh sunlight coming through. But sometimes you want that harsh light. Sometimes you want those shadows. Like this photo I took outside, right, right outside on my driveway. The background is just some uh, pieces of wood that we have. So just some wood with some bark. Some of the pieces I, I turned so you can see the split side to add some more texture to the background. Then I sprinkled some gravel over the over over the bars and just wherever it landed, it landed. I think it adds another source, another kind of texture to the photo. But it's just lit with the sun. That it, the light that you see from that is the sun, no diffusion, no nothing. And I wanted that because I was going for like an outdoorsy. We can, you can put this in your hiking bag. Uh, I really enjoy those bars, by the way. A few minutes, maybe three minutes to put that photo together. Lit with the sun, gravel, textures, boom, done. If it's cloudy outside, don't let that stop you because it was cloudy outside on this day when I took this photo. You, you can really go either way. If you wanna wait for the sun to come out to get that to get that happier, I guess you could say, that happier look, then, uh, then wait until the sun comes out or just not wait. Until the, sun, until the sun comes out and just use the nicely, beautifully diffused light that overcast skies can give you. Ugh. I haven't done this personally, but it's something that uh, Mr. PM, Mr. Peter McKinnon, McKinnon suggested that uh, just take your product to like Ikea or something, to a department store that already has a built scene and just place it in there. Boom. 
done. I mean, he's got a point. You got your lights all nicely set up. You already have the kitchen or whatever. If it's a kitchen product, maybe your dining room. Usually they have very nice sceneries. Yeah, if you're willing to put down just a little bit of cash, a little bit of money, I would strongly suggest this newer light. CN160, I don't know if that helps you, but that's, if that's what it is. This light, this is about a 30, a $30 light off of Amazon. It is very bright, if you guys can see, and this battery is kind of dead, so you guys can see that. If you guys didn't notice, by the way, the lighting is different. So this newer light is something that you can get. 30 bucks, you could just get the light, or you could get the light and the rechargeable battery. I highly, highly, highly suggest you get the rechargeable battery. I was blowing through double A's. This thing has a little adapter to take double A's. I was blasting through double A's like, like crazy. I think it takes eight or six double A's in here. But when you get the rechargeable battery, they give you two batteries, a nice, a nice little charger. I got the white ones because the white ones are like five bucks cheaper than the black ones. I'm like, I, 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 don't, I don't care. They're both gonna do the same thing. And if I can chase five, bucks by changing the color i'm going with the white so i got the white it has different um different mounting different mountings if you guys can see that here i am like one of those makeup artists this is a i'm calling it a dead shoe i'm not sure what you really call it but since the actual mount is called a hot shoe i would think this would be kind of a dead shoe uh so it's got a dead shoe mount here here so you can just slide this onto the camera slide this onto the camera spin that down and it locks it in very well I, i've never lost it and then it also has a little mount for a tripod right there so super universal i use this thing all the time in just about all of my photo shoots almost all of my photo shoots the ones that the reflector isn't good enough then i'll use it this photo was taken on a overcast day so i got the sun as the key so that's the bright brighter side and then i have this little newer light on the opposing side casting just a teeny bit of light. You guys probably can't even tell, but if I was to turn it off, I wish I did turn it off uh, when I took this picture, but I didn't. Just a teeny bit of light going that way, just to cut down those shadows a little bit. And I think this photo with that black background, mm, I think it's a great, the contrast with the black, the woods, the grains in the woods, and then you got the different textures of the, man, I, oh. Um, so you got that, you got this Nero light, and I'll just throw this picture in for, for hahas because I really like how this one came out. This photo was taken just with this newer light. That's it. Um, I set it up kind of high, high-ish, and then I caught the reflection of the light in the phone. So that's how it, that's how that happened. That's where that highlight came from. That's where that reflection came from is this light in that phone. That's it. And then I just put it on a black t-shirt. Done. Super universal. I'm so glad I got this light. I'm thinking about getting another one just to have on hand for different applications. So that's it. That's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope my enthusiasm, my my excitement, my woohoo was able to come through this video because I really do enjoy product photography. You can take it of anything and it's not gonna go anywhere. You're not, you're not in a rush. You're not like trying to take a picture and because this product is gonna be like, all right, I got another meeting to go to. See you later. No, you get to have the product as long as you need it. Take it, boom, done. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know, I haven't looked at my, my analytics to really see if there are any girls watching this, but if there are, that's pretty cool. Thank you guys for, for subscribing. I hope that you've learned something from this video and that, you're, that you will be able to take this and apply it to the next projects that you're going to do. If you guys do, tag me on Instagram, boom, at Visual. And I would love to see the stuff that you guys produce after making this video. Lighting with the sun, adding some reflectors. Boom, boom, boom. Hope you guys learned something. Do it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Probably. I don't know. I like to go twice a week on this video, on this channel, but we'll see. All right. Boom! Look at this new background that I got, that I just, that I just downloaded. I literally took a trip to space and uh, asked these astronauts. No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that. That's, that's not what I did. I don't want to be an astronaut or anything. I just find space to be very amusing. Okay, here we go. I think that's it, I think we're done.